What's up everybody? I'm Dan. This is Backpacking Adventures. Back out on the trail again. This time I am revisiting the Quijana Trail. That is a roughly 71, 72 mile loop in the PA wilds. It's right near the Allegheny Front Trail, Black Forest Trail, West Rim Trail, all the, I think there's a connector actually to the Black Forest Trail from here. And uh, like I said, it's a roughly 72 mile loop. And I'm here again with Dakota. And uh, we're gonna try to do this one in four days. The weather for this trip is going to be, I would say for the most part, absolutely perfect. For the, for the most part, for the next four days, it's gonna be highs in the mid to low 70s. Lows at night are gonna be in the low 50s, and that's, of course, in the closest town, so we're guessing it may hit the 40s. A lower humidity, and the only difference is, is tomorrow, they are now, it was gonna rain, but now they're calling for severe thunderstorms with high winds and hail. And part of this trail is designated a tornado zone. So we're hoping that we don't get hit with that, but, uh, but who knows? But other than that, we're looking at smooth sailing, sunny skies, and perfect hiking temperatures. trail is really nice and I can tell you the big difference with it it's only in the 60s it's like maybe 64 65 degrees right now and it just feels so nice to not be soaking wet with sweat and it being so humid out so it'll be like that for most of the day it'll probably get into the mid 70s maybe but it's nowhere gonna feel as bad as what we've had on the last couple trips where it was like you know 90 degrees real humid and just hot so terrain what I expected it's it's basically just like the Allegheny Front Trail because that's right round, around here the train is pretty much identical just that the trail is a little bit longer tomorrow is going to be the train's going to be different I know there's some we'll be hiking up some ridges and some some uh, some pretty steep hills and stuff but I, I, I they're not going to be bad the bad part will be later in the day when we start getting hit with uh, with the thunderstorms that's when it's going to gonna start really sucking but again it's supposed to be the only day that we're expected to get any kind of rain so nice cool weather for the rest of the trip just came across a nice pile of uh Bear scat in here, so you can see the size of it. So there's a bear around here. It's probably a day or two old.
about at mile nine and we found this little campsite here and we're just stopping for lunch now. It is what like 20 after now or 20 after one. Yep. So we've been hiking, we did nine miles in like four hours. So it's not too bad for our first day out. We are not sure how far we're gonna go. Um, nice camp start start at 14. There's one at 18, 21, 23. So we have options. So we're just gonna see, you know, how far we can really stand to go today. So, but I mean, so far the trail has not been bad at all. What do you think? I think it's been compared to like what we just got through in the Kuiper. I think it's been very mild, some up and downs, but it's not. It doesn't hit you hard. You know, we're not going up straight up. It's kind of gradual. Weather is perfect. It's low 70s right now. It was 72. And there's a breeze and the humidity is is like non-existent so it's we're not sweating as much so we're not drinking you know we don't need to drink tons of water it's just it's like really really nice hiking weather so we're going to try to push it and see how far we can get because we, again we want to front load our trip because tomorrow they're talk, calling for those severe thunderstorms but we're going to finish our lunch and then keep on moving It is about four o'clock and we just filled up on water. We're at mile, at least according to all trails, we're at mile 13.2. So we're gonna start looking for a campsite. We got a late start today. We didn't start until after nine o'clock in the morning. Um, so we're going to start looking for a campsite around 14 or 15 miles. And then we're gonna call it for the day. So another good hour, maybe two tops of hiking for today. And then we're gonna be done. So now we're in look for camp mode. It's about 5.15 and we finally made it to camp. We're at about mile 15.5 and we just came across this sweet site. So we're done for the day. We've hiked a good, what, eight hours I think today, I think it was. Eight hours, you know, we got a late start. So tomorrow, like we always say, the plan is to get on the trail by six. I doubt we'll do it, but. So let me show you the campsite. Here's the whole campsite. It's pretty big. There's enough room for a couple tents and hammocks. I was gonna hang to this big tree, except for when I looked up, all the branches on it are dead. So I'm gonna shift off here and be a little bit farther away from it, but I think I still have a good hang. Really nice firing here with um, the benches and these big rocks to sit on. Perfect. There's water right over there going down. So we're really close to water. Dakota's going to set his tent up right over here, a flat area. And I am going to go between that tree and that tree. So it's now it's time to set up. On the menu for tonight again is as usual for me packet gourmet i'm having the big easy cajun gumbo and this is it has spiced chicken okra tomatoes uh gumbo file long grain louisiana rice and tabasco sauce to put in it this i've had this before it is primo and i'm gonna probably dessert i'll have my snickers bar and my blue drink for electrolytes for flavor i'm gonna go with the beef stroganoff it's uh, a mountain house, but it's their new variety. It's called Pro Pack. It packs down a little smaller. Same amount of calories, 627 uh, grams of protein, which is pretty good, at, especially at the end of the day after you've been hiking all day. We're done eating and it is about seven o'clock, so we're tired. I know this is only 15 miles, but I didn't sleep good last night. We had a late start, so I'm kind of tired, so I'm just gonna 
we're gonna hang our food, relax a little bit more, and probably then, probably get to bed early so we can get up early. So with that, I will see you tomorrow.